Hey everybody, welcome back to Stone Mountain Barbecue. I am Jason, and today we're cooking inside. At the time of shooting this video, it's the middle of January, first part of January, I guess, but it's cold, wet, and rainy, and I don't really want to be cooking outside. So, what's the best thing to do when it's cold, wet, and rainy? Make a nice, hearty chicken and dumplings. That's what we're doing today. Y'all stick with me, we'll see what we can do. So the other day we had a taco bar um, here at the house with some friends and we had some leftover chicken. Now you can always make this recipe with fresh chicken, you don't have to use leftovers, but this is going to speed up the process a little bit. You don't have to wait eight hours or three hours, four hours for the chicken to get done and then do all of your other ingredients. So we're going to skip that three hour mark of getting your chicken done in the crock pot and then we're just going to go from there. So let's look at our ingredients. First thing we have is one can of cream of celery soup. We have cream of chicken, two cans of that. And then we're gonna have the an onion, one shallot, we've got our chicken. We've got some frozen peas and carrots. You can chop up your own if you'd like. We've got some chicken broth, some uh, black pepper, some minced garlic, and of course our dumplings. I'm going easy and just going with some Granny's biscuits. So that's everything that we're gonna need for this recipe. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and get our shallots, or our shallot, I should say, and our onion diced up a little bit. Now, I am not a knife uh, wielder. <laughs> I'm not the best, so don't hold it against me if I'm doing something wrong. But if you'd like to give me some tips, I'm more than happy to listen. This is a new knife, and word on the street is that I have another new knife coming from my buddy Eric over at Eric's Forge, Summer's Forge, sorry. You've seen me talk about it on Instagram, things like that, so I'll leave a link down in the description box for his Instagram. Here, as long as you make a lot of noise while you're cutting vegetables and stuff, you're doing fine. As long as there's no blood, hey, you're doing a good job. There we go. That's what I meant to do. That's from, from Steve over at Not Another Cooking Show. He does that a lot, and I thought it looked cool, so I thought I would do it. There is that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to toss these over into our crock pot. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of oil to our pot. I've got it on high for about an hour and a half. And we're just scraping all of our onions and shallots in there. Now, while that's getting hot, and those start to bloom a little bit in there once that bottom gets hot we're going to go ahead and be getting our cans of soup open all right now our crock pot is coming up to temperature the, you can smell these onions and these shallots we're going to go ahead and add to that i guess one tablespoon of garlic minced garlic you don't have to add this if you want now there is there's a little bit of a debate going on in the Stone Mountain household, okay, that this isn't chicken and dumplings. But, I mean, there's chicken and there's gonna be dumplings. So it's, to me, it's chicken and dumplings. Wifey is saying that it's chicken pot pie. Well, you know, on my Instagram, I put a question out there, which do you prefer? Chicken and dumplings, chicken pot pie. Overwhelmingly, chicken and dumplings won but I like both. So this is my take on it. It's a hearty meal, it's nice when it's cold outside, you can cozy up next to a loved one with a bowl of this and just, I mean, enjoy the evening. 
So we've got this uh, garlic in here with these onions and the shallot, and we're just gonna mix that around a little bit. It smells amazing, not gonna lie. <clears throat> now we're just gonna add our cans of soup. Got our cream of celery going in. Now remember guys, if you were doing this with regular, either frozen chicken or just non-cooked chicken at all, you'd want to put your chicken in probably for about two hours before. You could put it all together, that's the beauty of a crock pot, but me personally, I like to make sure that my chicken's done before I add a bunch of stuff in there, just so that I can say without, you know, question that it was done. All right, so there's our can of cream of celery. There's one can of cream of chicken. There's two cans of cream of chicken. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and throw some pepper in here. I'm not gonna use a lot of salt today because the chicken's already seasoned. We actually seasoned it with some fajita seasoning when we used it the other day. And um, I think that's gonna give it enough flavor itself. Plus these onions, the shallots, the minced garlic, and this black pepper, which I like black pepper, so don't judge me, is, um, is gonna give it a really good flavor too. All right, now that that's in there, we're gonna take this whole bag, like I said, it's, it's a steam bag. You can buy fresh peas, fresh carrots, chop those up if you want to. I ain't about that life. Y'all saw how much I struggled on onions and shallots. But we're gonna take this whole bag and we're gonna put this in here. And we're just gonna give it a mix. Now it's gonna look super thick right now. Remember, we're gonna add some chicken broth here in just a second. But you can just smell all those flavors, it's gonna be so good. So now we got our chicken broth. And really this is kind of eyeballing. You don't want it to be too thick, you don't want it to be too thin, you still want enough liquid in there to kind of boil your dumplings later on. So we're gonna go about half of the container first. And then once this cooks for a little bit, we're gonna see if we need to add any more. Go ahead and go ahead and give it another stir. Try not to make a mess. You take our lid, pop it on, and it should be right around an hour. So we've got about an hour, we're gonna let this go on high until all these flavors start combining and it just becomes ooey gooey delicious. Then we're gonna throw our chicken in and then we're gonna take care of those dumplings. See y'all back in just a second. All right, so it's been about an hour on high and this stuff is looking and smelling amazing. You can see that it's a little bit thicker, um, probably than most would want it. So we're gonna add, that's why I had you reserve about a half a box of this chicken broth. This is just a uh, 32 ounce um, box of chicken broth. So we're gonna add some more chicken broth to it. Probably just gonna go ahead and do about a quarter of the box, so another half um, of what's left. Maybe a little bit more. You want it to have a little bit of thickness to it, but you don't want it to be so thick that you're eating gravy. So now for this next hour, we're gonna go ahead and put our chicken in. Like I said, this is just shredded chicken that's left over. Um, if you were to do this with fresh chicken, you'd wanna go ahead and shred that chicken up and get everything nice and juicy and mixed in together. But we're just gonna go ahead and mix this in. This is probably, if I had to guess, about two cups of chicken. Probably about two cups. So we're just gonna give this a good mix, make sure everything's nice and mixed together. And we're gonna throw the lid back on for another hour, let this chicken get warm. It'll shred apart even more. It'll absorb a lot of that flavor that we've put in there. And then we're gonna be throwing these dumplings in there. 
All right, so we are an hour into the chicken. So two hours total roughly on this cook. Now, I have took my biscuits out of the wrapper. I'm sorry, when I bust the things open, it scares me. I didn't want you to see that. So maybe next time. But I've dusted them with a little bit of this cornstarch. What that's gonna do is when I go to cut them up, it's gonna keep it from sticking to the knife. Plus when we throw them in there, it's gonna help one, it's going to thicken up our broth a little bit, but two, it's going to keep them from sticking together while they're in there trying to cook a little bit. So we're just going to cut these into fours. If you want to do them smaller, you can. There's other people out there, I'm sure, that roll out their dough and then they cut them into strips. Some folks do that, then toss it in flour and then throw them in there separate. It's up to you however you want to do it. This is just the quick and easy way for me. If you don't want your dumplings that large, cut them a little bit smaller. It's up to you. You are the artist, they are your canvas. Make them however you wish. And then we're just gonna go, we're just gonna toss these around in here. I've got my heat still on high, and I've got my timer set back to an hour. We're gonna toss these all around. Don't really wanna stack them up on top of each other. You wanna model kinda be separated as much as you can. It's gonna get a little crowded, don't worry, that's okay. As these start to cook, they're going to absorb a bunch of this liquid. A lot of the flavors, everything like that, they're just going to start to, you know, take on all that flavor. These are also butter biscuits, so that's going to add a little bit better flavor, a little bit more richness um, to the broth, and overall just butter makes everything better, so, <laughs> I mean. And then you're just going to want to go around and just give them a little tap just to make sure that they're coated. Now, this does look a little bit thick, starting out to me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit more of this chicken broth. Just to give it, about that much. Just to give it just enough liquid in there to make sure that these things can get nice and cooked and you don't, because if, if all of your dumplings are up on the top, as they rise, they're going to brown and get dark and they're going to overcook. They're not going to have that nice, soft, gooey texture that a dumpling would. So we're going to let this go for about an hour again. Like I said, I'm going to watch it, make sure that it's not drying out too much or getting too thick. If it does, we're just going to hit it with another little splash of this chicken broth and then we're going to be tasting it. And y'all know that's my favorite part. So I'll see y'all then. Okay, so chicken and dumplings are done. Uh, they're ready to eat. This dough is fluffy, but it's still doughy and chewy. It's absorbed a lot of that moisture, a lot of that flavor. I ended up letting them go another almost hour, I guess, over the initial hour. Um, when I checked them at an hour mark, they weren't, they were just too raw, too doughy. So we stirred them up real good, and this is what we have. I'm gonna go ahead and make me a bowl. And Wipey's acting like she gonna get some, but since she don't think this is chicken and dumplings, I, she might just have to miss out, I don't know. I mean, the broth is nice and creamy. It looks rich. These dumplings though, look amazing. I'll let you take a look. So these dumplings are nice and cooked. That broth is delicious looking. You got those carrots, the peas, the chickens in there, the onion, the shallots, all that stuff is in there. Let's try a bite. I'm gonna put a rag in my hand because this is real hot. I think this is gonna be real hot. Probably should let it cool. That is what I'm talking about. Mm. Oh, it's perfect for a cold, rainy day. It's hearty. 
It's delicious, it's rich, it's creamy. You got the dumpling, you got the carrots, the peas. Everything goes really well together. I don't care what you want to call it. Chicken pot dumplings, I don't care, whatever. It's delicious, you need to try it. Remember, this is one of those things you can throw everything in the crock pot together all at once, leave your dumplings to the last hour or hour and a half, and it's gonna be ready for you when you get home. Put it on low or, or, or medium or whatever your crock pot's designed to do. Set it, go to work, come home, and you're gonna have a delicious meal waiting for you when you get here. I appreciate you for watching, guys. Be sure to comment down below whether you like chicken and dumplings or chicken pot pie, or if you're like me and like a little bit of both, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new around here, I wouldn't mind it, and I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Until next time, guys, y'all stick with me. We'll see what we can do. Thanks. God bless. You're going to be real upset. Why? Wow. Because I ain't going to give you none of this. <laughs>